Alrighty guys, I am back with a brand new video, and in today's video, like I alluded to last week, it's dino time. Roll that intro. So last week at the very end of the video, I teased what the next what, what the next Mega Box is gonna be, and and I said at the end of the previous video that Dollar Tree had these Dino construction play sets, but they're not any good. This one only had ten pieces, which is worse than some real Lego piece counts in terms of piece per dollar value. Of course, there were some other ones like this Triceratops that I never built because I don't I didn't really care. These are kind of terrible, but. Let's move on from those. Here we've got a T-Rex pterodactyl and a Triceratops. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Here's the front and back of the Triceratops. Here's the front and back of the pterodactyl. And here's the front and back of the T-Rex. As you will notice, these sets have hangers that let you hang them on the shelf. So these were probably supposed to be hanged on pegs at the actual Dollar Tree but they weren't, mine were just in the case, like I assume most other Dollar Trees display them. This particular series had three dinosaurs, but it also had three real animals. And I will be showing these off in more detail in next week's video. So for right now, I'm just gonna build the T-Rex and hopefully they are a lot better than these dino construction sets. It's a very low bar, very, very, very low bar, but hopefully we can manage it. So let's get right into building. All right, so here's the first dinosaur built. I have two main criticisms about these at least so far, is these pieces are very hard compared to other fake Lego bricks that I've used, other Make It Blocks specifically that I've used. They were very, I don't know if you could tell during the time lapse, but it was kind of jumpy. That's where I would pause it just so I can fix any mistakes. This piece right here, the neck is very easy to take off. See, it just falls apart. So it's not necessarily the most robust model they've ever come out with, but hey, this is pretty good. You build it, put it on a shelf. Now comparing it to the version that I said not to get, it's pretty dusty. I built a few of these a while ago just because I might as well, I had them. And they were not as fun. They were probably a bit more fun to build than these, but just simply because they don't have as many pieces Probably not as worth it. So, little T-Rex. I'm not sure what this was. What, what did it say this was? I don't even have the box, I don't know. But we got this or this. I mean, do whatever you think you wanna get. With that out of the way, I think the next easiest one to build would honestly be the Triceratops. This one looks interesting and of course it has three horns. I wanna see what that piece is. That looks pretty cool. Just the building techniques. Oh shoot, I said I had a few main criticisms. It's the pieces they weren't good and I didn't know they had Green Briner International in the Jurassic era so <laughs> the more you know I guess so let's get that let's put that to the side maybe have it stand up over here and get right into building the Triceratops All right, so here is the finished build. I dropped an eyeball and I'm not looking for it, so we're just gonna have to go without an eyeball for now. Um, I quite like how the head is two pieces backwards. That's actually pretty creative. I don't know if this would be considered illegal to put the studs like this, but this is pretty cool. Again, similar to how the T-Rex was, the legs are still pretty loose and they're easy to disconnect, as well as the pieces are very stiff, very hard. They're not as easy to 
attach and detach. But overall, this is pretty cool. Comparing it to the previous series they had, it's kind of different. I mean, I guess this one, I have to build this one and check it out, but this one is, the green Triceratops is more complex, I could say. But overall, I'd probably stick with this green one, especially if you just wanna have it as a desk toy. Like, I've had these two guys as desk toys. As you can see, they're just dust. I have them just sitting over on my desk. They're pretty neat, just to have lying around. So let's get right into the next one. Next one is a pterodactyl. I'm not trying to pronounce that. I'll just call it a pterodactyl. I could be wrong. Flame me in the comments if I am, but let's get right into building. All right, so what do I think about the pterodactyl? So I think the pterodactyl is probably one of the more creative of the three dinosaurs. These are probably the most unique builds I think I've seen come out of Make It Blocks so far. These remind me a lot of the mini kits in various Lego games where if you would collect 10 mini kits in a level, it would give you a little model, very similar to what these are. If you look at the instructions, the instructions for these sets aren't incredibly clear. Let me get some high resolution shots for you all. They tried really hard to fit all of the instructions onto, this isn't, this isn't a very big piece of paper. If you wanna look at these boxes and compare the size of the paper, it's not very big. They're pretty small, very, very pretty small. Here is a Nintendo Switch OLED for example, if you wanna compare sizes. They're not very big, it's pretty hard to see. And overall, I mean, it's it's not terrible. It's not just, it's kind of cumbersome to build these on camera is all I'm really complaining about. But the steps are very compact. This one says build two legs and then snap these piece on. But if these were Legos, this would be three pages of instructions and they kind of overlap and they get real noisy. On the pterodactyl, it was very noisy. This piece, I was confusing this step for this step because they're all so close together. You might not have that problem, but I did. So I kind of like the dinosaurs. If it wasn't for these printing on the pieces, I didn't know they had Green Briner International in the Jurassic era and how hard they are to actually put together. These bricks are very hard. They don't like to go together very much at all. I probably can recommend these. I'd say go for it if you're gonna build them once and display them. They're pretty cool. If I had to choose between what Make It box I was gonna buy, again, these would be at the bottom of my list. All right, guys, and with that out of the way, see you all next week where we are gonna be taking a look at these Make It Blocks modern animal sets. We've got Eagle, Shark, and lion if it already is next week click right here or right here to see the video subscribe right here if you'd like and i'll see you all in the next one